All right, buenos dias, mis amigos. All right, so you, perhaps you've heard of this idea that Jesus has returned already. All right, so this comes from preterist, and they claim that Jesus has returned already. All right, and that the resurrection has already happened. All right, so we're going to destroy that idea very simply. All right, so in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 18, we read, Who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already, and overthrow the faith of some. All right, so let's go to the return of Jesus in 2 Peter chapter 3. Alright, so the return of Jesus is when he comes in the clouds of heaven, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. All right, so let's go back up to verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief within the night, in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. All right, so not only is the earth burned up, but the works that are therein will be burned up when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. Alright, so therefore this has not happened yet. Alright, so their whole doctrine is destroyed with that single verse. First Corinthians 15. Alright, so when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven then we are resurrected, right? For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ the first roots, afterward they that are Christ at his coming. Then comes the end. All right. So when Jesus returns, then are we changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, Right, behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. This is when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. We are lifted up, separated from the unsaved, and then the unsaved are at our feet, and then all evil is destroyed forever. All right, and this goes back to Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, when the Lord said unto the serpent, I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. For he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. So when he puts all enemies under his feet, then he stomps his foot on the head of the serpent, destroying evil forever. This has not happened Yet, it's going to happen. Alright, so this negates the possibility that Jesus has returned. Alright, All right, just aside from the logical standpoint, the scripture makes it very clear. Alright, so the logical uh, viewpoint if you will, of the preterist is that Jesus has already returned and then he's what gonna return again? Uh, there, there is no logic in the preterist view.
It's a total disregard for the scripture. Alright, so again, just to recap. When Jesus comes, the earth and the works that are therein shall be burned up. That hasn't happened yet. When Jesus comes, we are resurrected, lifted up into the air. Alright, so that hasn't happened yet. Alright, it's going to happen. But it's nonsensical to say that it has happened. All right, and this is precisely the type of people that this verse is referring to in Second Timothy chapter two, where it says, "Who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection has passed already, and overthrow the faith of some." Now, if you have any questions, please do ask. I love your comments. Please do ask them. And I know one obvious question that, that I've dealt with uh, many times in the past is, what about those that were resurrected with Jesus that went into the city to witness? All right, let's see if I can find that verse. Now, it's very important to understand, to rightly divide the word of truth, to understand that these guys, they went out, Uh, like, now I'm not going to be able to find it, but they went out and witnessed the resurrection of Jesus, and then they went back into their grave. All right, you got to rightly divide the word of truth. Use simple logic, really. And I'm going to show you here in a second if I can find a verse. Oh. Uh, Let's see here. Let's see if I can find. Just give me a minute here. Oh, hold on a sec. Let's see if I can find it. I'm not going to be able to find it because I don't remember. I don't remember doesn't matter okay so um, and you know, this is gonna drive me nuts anyways here. maybe I can find it right there <laughs> okay I had to find it right and the grays were open and many bodies of the saints which slept arose and came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many see they appeared unto many as witnesses of the resurrection of Jesus Christ they themselves did not ascend to heaven all right they simply went back into their grave Right. There's no other way around it. They could not have ascended to heaven. They could not have. I just showed you the verse in 1 Corinthians 15. All right, let's, but let's imagine, oh, that's not enough. You don't want to believe this. All right, But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruit, afterward they that are Christ at his coming. Now let's say you don't want to believe the scripture. You don't want to believe the word of God. Okay. Let's say you need more. And that's how people are. They don't want to believe the written word of God. It's incredible. And because they don't want to believe the word of God, they deserve to believe a lie. Alright, so let's go to Acts chapter 2. And we read that even David himself is not ascended into the heavens, but he saith unto himself, or he saith himself, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thy foes thy footstool. This is speaking of the end of this world. Just like what we read in Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 when the Lord said to the serpent I will put 
enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. So David, he will ascend up into heaven to meet the Lord in the air the same time that me and you will. All right. So the same time. And that's at the end of the world. Remember what we read, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 23, But every man in his own order, Christ, the first roots, afterward they that are Christ at his coming. And then, of course, 1 Thessalonians 4. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. All right. This is at the end of the world when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. We are lifted up into the air. Just David's going to be one of them. Right? And those saints that rose up out of their graves, they will also be resurrected with us up into the air. They will be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible see you're not reading about this in Matthew uh, 27 the graves are open and many of the but and many bodies of the saints which okay so anyways you have any more questions I mean any questions at all you want me to follow up on that a little bit? That's fine. That's great. But make no mistake about it. Jesus has not returned. All right? And the resurrection has not happened. It's nonsense. It's stupid is what it is. If I'm being honest with you, if I'm being straightforward, these preterists are stupid. And because they reject the word of God, they deserve to believe a lie.